the official station for your new Bay Bridge, KPIX 5. This is KPIX 5 News. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, they're receiving CPR, they're going to let her die. A nurse stands by as an elderly woman collapses and the call to 911 is chilling. Good evening, I'm Michelle Griego, in for Liz. I'm Ken Bastida. This really is a story you have to hear to believe. A dispatcher begging a nurse to start CPR. But KPIX 5's Alyssa Harrington reports the nurse said no over and over again. We need to get CPR started. That's not enough. Okay. Um, let me. Uh, yeah, we can't do CPR. Okay. Okay. It's a call for help from the last person you'd expect. A nurse on the phone with a 911 dispatcher refusing to give an unconscious woman CPR. Her excuse? It's against her company's policy. What makes this even more bizarre? Her company is a retirement home. Anybody there can do CPR. Give them the phone, please. She's going to die if we don't get this started. Do you understand? The nurse, who identifies herself only as Colleen, works at Glenwood Gardens in Bakersfield. The call is from Tuesday morning, when 87-year-old Lorraine Bayless collapses in the dining room and is barely breathing. On the other line is dispatcher Tracy Holverson. I don't understand why you're not willing to help this patient. I am. Okay, great. Then I'll walk you through it all. Pulverson grows increasingly frustrated during the seven minute and 16 second phone call, begging the nurse to perform CPR or put someone on the phone who's willing to try. A passerby, even another resident at the facility. Is there anybody that works there that's willing to do it? We can't. Are we just going to wait? We're going to let this lady die? Well, that's why we're calling 911. We can't wait. She can't wait right now. Help comes too late. An ambulance takes Bayless to the hospital where she dies. Reports say she did not have a do not resuscitate order. And although the worker was following policy, this death opens up a legal can of worms. Lawsuits are, are the least of their problems. They're, putting, they're, they're looking at lawsuits that could put them out of business. Every person in the facility and the, and the owner of the facility could be looking at license revocation from the state and they could be criminally prosecuted on a theory of homicide. So why was this against policy? Well, Bayless was part of the independent facility at Glenwood Gardens. It's almost like an apartment complex for seniors and is separate from the skilled and assisted nursing facilities there. The independent section does not offer medical help. Ken? Yeah, I keep thinking about the, uh, the poor woman's family having to listen to this yeah. nonsense and not saving her life. But yeah. yeah, thank you for that. The executive director of the facility confirmed the staff does not attempt CPR. He said that Glenwood Gardens standard practice is to immediately call for emergency help and to wait with the patient until help arrives. He also promised a thorough review of this incident. Tonight, Oakland is celebrating its monthly first Friday street festival. It's the first since a teenager was killed in a shooting at last month's event. KPIX 5's David Jackson is in Oakland with how the city tightened the rules. David? Well, we're happy to report that this is one of the most peaceful and pleasant Friday evenings they've had in Oakland for quite some time. We had people from all over the city gathered here for the Art Walk tonight, the first Friday Art Walk here on Telegraph Avenue, making Oakland, at least for a time, feel like the happiest place on earth. Tonight, Oakland was awfully happy, and that may be a direct response to the tragic murder of Keontae Campbell one month ago during Art Walk. The 18-year-old was shot and killed in a dark parking lot an hour after the Art Walk closed down. Tonight, nobody wanted a repeat, so police and security flooded Telegraph Avenue, and everyone was in a cautious mood. We have to believe in the good. And if you continue to focus on the negative, well, you're just going to keep repeating that. You think there's nothing valuable and just youth or a wasted effort or anything else in the city is a waste effort, well, you'll go nowhere. It was definitely really tragic, but I also thought it afforded an opportunity to, you know, that's really Oakland, that collision of different demographics and young people and older folks and people of all different um, ages, ethnicities, whatever, that really is Oakland. And so we can't get hypersensitive to one particular murder, but I think it was a great way to humanize an epidemic of violence that happens citywide. Oakland has a history of violence, but uh, this event has been peaceful. So now everybody's just uh, uh, watching a little bit extra, just uh, being a little bit more, like you said, vigilant and dil dil diligent 
on um, just what's going on out here. And what's also going on is commerce. Merchants welcoming the crowds and the business. This helps for every, for a small business, big business, for everything. And everyone said this is how Oakland should be. Busy, happy, and best of all, cool. It's a starting point. Um, and, and kind of bringing folks under a, a common umbrella, I think, is really powerful. But it's all for nothing if we don't deal with some of the dis deeper systemic issues. Well, last month, there were close to 10,000 people here at the Art Walk. It was somewhat less tonight. There was a dampening effect, certainly, from the crime that took place on February the 1st. It really remains to be seen whether or not that can hold over the coming months. But everybody here, all the organizers, saying to me tonight, they are optimistic that they think that'll be the future of the first Friday Art Walks from here on out. Live in Oakland, David Jackson, KPIX 5. Michelle, back to you. Okay, David, thank you. Oakland police arrested 19-year-old Donald Parks Jr. for last month's first Friday shooting, but he was only charged with assault and carrying a concealed weapon, not with killing Keontae Campbell. Well, a Bay Area politician who carries a pretty respected last name resigned in disgrace today, admitting that he gambled away public money. Santa Clara County Supervisor George Shirakawa surrendered at the sheriff's office today and was booked on 12 felony and misdemeanor charges. The DA says that he used campaign and public money to pay for casino trips, a lavish lifestyle. He even created a secret slush fund for himself. Shirakawa, the son of a longtime member of the San Jose City Council, said he has a gambling addiction and suffers from depression. What is important to me in this case uh, is that he step down right away, that he plead guilty to the charges, that he pay all the money back, and that he spend some time behind bars. And the former supervisor will be arraigned March 18th, faces a long jail sentence. If he's convicted, he will never again be able to hold public office in California. State taxpayers are picking up the tab to send California pension fund managers to Hawaii. These are the same people who oversee pensions that are basically going broke. Legally speaking, they can go on the trip, but KPIX 5's Linda Yee asked, is it a good idea? Who wouldn't want to come here? Certainly not the hundreds of people nationwide who help manage public pension plans. Their annual conference in May just happens to be at the Hilton Hawaiian Village Resort, an all-expenses-paid trip to sun, surf, and sand to talk shop. The estimated cost, up to $3,000 a person. Well, someone needs to go. Since we pay dues, why would you belong to an organization and not go? Richard Cabral is a trustee for the Contra Costa County Employees Retirement Association. Despite the troubles some government-funded pension plans have suffered in this struggling economy, Cabral sees nothing wrong about a trip to Hawaii paid for by pension plans. It happens to be in Hawaii, and people make a big deal about it. I understand it's a very nice place. I, I just, it's the content and what you get from it not so much the locale. Critics, however, say it's irresponsible. Pension reform expert Chris Burdick. They're raising people's contribution rates, public employers being told they have to pay more, they want to cut benefits, and they're going to go to Hawaii? What's up with that? Conference organizers expected problems, so they offered tips on their website on how to justify the trip. There's even a sample letter with talking points. Cabral said he didn't have to talk anyone into letting him go, despite the hits the county's pension account took during the down market. You know, losses, and we are recovering from that. So maybe uh, this is not such a good time to be going to Hawaii. Yeah, see, um... That, that's kind of like penny wise, pound foolish. The wisdom of picking Hawaii when you're... But I didn't pick Hawaii. No, but maybe you could choose not to go. Yeah, I, I guess. I stand on a principle and forgo speaking to people that might be there. I, 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 I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to make such a foolish point. Linda Yee, KPIX 5. And Cabral's not alone. A total of five trustees from the Pension Association have decided to accept the free trip to Hawaii. Well, billions in budget cuts kicked in a couple of hours ago. What the Democrats and Republicans have managed to agree on. The only thing that I saw was a hole, and the hole took the entire bedroom. 
A man sleeping in his own bed is swallowed up by the earth. And they said they'd clean this up. So did they? We'll go back to a Bay Area neighborhood that's become a dumping ground to see if the city made good on its promise. A day of unusually warm weather in the Bay Area today, but now time for something completely different. We'll have a little rain in the forecast after a break. You'll clean up this month during Victory Honda of San Bruno's Spring Cleaning Sales Event. Huge discounts on nearly 100 quality pre-owned vehicles, like a Honda Odyssey EXL for under $9,000. Interest rates as low as 1.9%. And get paid for your trade. Receive 125% of Black Book value on your trade-in. But hurry, our Spring Cleaning Sales Event ends soon. So head into Victory Honda today. It's time to change the way we clean. It's time to free ourselves from the smell and harshness of bleach and free ourselves from worrying about the ones we love. Lysol Power and Free has more cleaning power than bleach. How? The secret is the hydrogen peroxide formula. It attacks tough stains and kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Lysol Power and Free, powerful cleaning that's family friendly. Another step forward in our mission for health. Have fun this weekend with Model Trains at the world's greatest train show. The show features over 200 booths of model train excitement. Your kids can enjoy the free Thomas train ride and a live musical performance by TV star Choo Choo Bob. Operating model railroads fill the center. This show has it all. Manufacturers, retailers, and seminars. Learn and play with model trains. Bring the whole family. Kids under 16 are free. The San Mateo County Event Center. It balances you. It fills you with energy. And it gives you what you're looking for to live a more natural life in a convenient two-bar pack. This is Nature Valley. Delicious granola bars made with the best ingredients in nature. Nature Valley. Nature at its most delicious. Busy in here. Yeah. Progressive Mobile is really catching on. People can do it all. Get a phone, buy, and manage their policy. It's great. Well, what's with the music? Dude, get in a car insurance quote. I'll let it go to voicemail. Then <clears throat> on vibrate. It'll pass. Our giant store on your little phone. That's Progressive Mobile. Just two hours ago, billions in federal budget cuts started kicking in. That means we are officially in sequestration. Here in California, education will be slashed by more than $87 million. 1,200 teacher jobs are at risk, and some 8,200 children could lose access to preschool. This is all the worst-case scenario, but still, it could get rough. Tara Merginer reports from Capitol Hill. Leaders of both parties to discuss. President Obama signed the order setting in motion $85 billion in spending cuts. The president and Congress had a year and a half to find a way to compromise, but it was clear Friday when lawmakers left Washington an agreement wasn't going to happen. President Obama blamed Republicans. Uh, and let's be clear uh, none of this is necessary. Uh, it's happening because a choice that Republicans in Congress have made. The cuts are split between defense and domestic spending, with the Pentagon trimming 8% or $46 billion. Government workers may be furloughed, and the White House is warning of everything from fewer cops on the streets to longer lines at the airports. It's just dumb, and it's going to hurt. But Republicans say the automatic cuts were the president's idea, and some suggest it might not be the worst thing for Washington. We all agree it's not the best way to reduce spending, but it's time we did that. The impasse is over taxes. The president wants to close loopholes, but Republicans say they already compromised on taxes when rates went up in January. 
Those differences could spill over into the next budget battle. Government funding runs out at the end of the month. I did lay out that the House is going to move a continuing resolution next week uh, to fund the government past uh, March 27th. The Speaker and the President do agree on one thing. Neither wants to deal with a government shutdown on top of spending cuts. At the White House, Tara Mergener, KPIX 5. San Francisco Mayor Ed Lee released a statement tonight saying the impact to the city's services, schools, and public housing will be in excess of $25 million. Sinkholes are not big news in Florida. It happens. But no one has seen one like this one. It actually swallowed up a guy while he was sleeping in his own bed. And when I turned into the bedroom, the only thing that I saw was a hole. And the hole took the entire bedroom. Engineers are calling it unprecedented. They say the 30-foot hole is still growing, making it impossible to recover the man's body. And I cannot in good conscience have additional people on this site when I'm being told that it's seriously unstable. So that's the dilemma. Just get closure, I guess. Make sure he's not dead. Make sure see if he's alive. That's Jeremy Bush. He tried to pull his brother out of the hole, but he had to be rescued himself. No one else in the house at the time was hurt. A follow-up to the disgusting mess we showed you on the news last night. Piles of garbage and junk lining 35th Street in West Oakland. One woman told us she woke up one morning and found an entire living room set dumped there. When we talked to an Oakland Public Works manager about it yesterday, here's what he said. Yes, now that this has been brought to our attention, we plan to remove this debris tomorrow. So we decided to go back to that same area today to see if Frank Foster kept his promise. And as you can see in this video, he did. All that garbage and debris has been picked up and hauled away. Nothing more exciting than finding a big sale on a really big screen TV. But one guy found out sometimes a great deal isn't exactly what it seems. Reporter Curtis Ming on why you need to pay attention to what you pay in tax. And he continues to do that. So Ed LaRue likes his big it. screen TV. Discovery Channel, lots of sports with the grandkids, cartoons, especially SpongeBob, you know, pineapple lives in the sea. Last month, Ed found an even bigger and better one at Costco. A 60-inch Samsung football TV. And the price was right, 800 bucks off, thanks to a manufacturer's discount. But after Ed paid, he realized he was charged sales tax on the pre-discounted price. It cost around $60 more. As a consumer, I was a little, I was a little steamed. When he asked Costco why, Ed says they told him that's the way it is. And I thought to myself, well, why? Why is it done that way? We went inside Costco and the sales sign does say sales tax on the pre-rebate price. The question really is, is what is the price paid for the TV? Tax attorney Buddy Williams says it's not how much you pay for an item, but how much the retailer receives. In this case, Costco received more than a thousand bucks from Ed and eight hundred dollars from the manufacturer, making the total taxable amount one thousand eight hundred forty nine dollars. When we reached out to Costco, they referred us to state law, which states amounts paid by a manufacturer to a retailer to reimburse the retailer for the value of the manufacturer coupon are included in the retailer's gross receipts. It definitely feels wrong, but that's it is allowed under the law. Despite what state law says, Ed feels it is still unfair. Let Costco pay the tax on that $800, you know? Why should the consumer pay because they're getting the money back? I'm not getting it, they're getting it. Now, if the discount is because of a store sale, you will pay sales tax based on the sale price, and that's because the store isn't getting any money from a third party. Curtis Ming, KPIX 5. You got you that? To be careful. You got that? Yeah, okay. I got it. Good. I understand. Well, Brian Hackney is in tonight for Paul Deano and Talking Rain. Boy, we had a foggy start this morning around the Bay Area. Dense fog, widespread, and we'll start out Saturday morning that way as well. It'll just be patchy, though, tomorrow morning as opposed to what we had this morning. And there are other changes in the offing as well. We're going to be looking for increasing clouds and a chance of scattered showers on Sunday. Tomorrow looks nice. Temperatures a little bit cooler for Saturday. And then after a break on Monday, we're going to get more rain uh, by late Tuesday. It's all because high pressure that's been in full command of the eastern Pacific is finally beginning to get knocked down a little bit by a series of storms that are coming out of the Gulf of Alaska. So after near record highs today, we're going to begin to get a chance of rain moving into the Bay Area by Sunday. It's not going to amount to much, and it will probably peter out by the time it gets down to the uh, Monterey Bay Area. But for us, Sunday looks a little bit wet, 
and then more coming in midweek. You can see the system out in the Pacific is beginning to split as it heads over western Washington where they get increasing southerly winds tonight. For us, we'll just increase some high clouds and look for the numbers to be not quite as warm tomorrow and we'll see sun, but we'll see it behind filtered clouds. So uh, expect this. Uh, with rainfall totals only 75% of average for the Bay Area, that's dry. We will look for things to begin to uh, get up into the 70s for Sacramento, 81 at Fresno tomorrow, some fog, 62 at Monterey, and the pinpoint forecast is calling for 70 at Concord, 71 at Livermore, and 62 at Pacifica, 70 degrees at Napa. In the extended forecast, that's when we begin to increase the clouds, leading to a chance of a few showers around the Bay Area on Sunday. Monday, we get a break. We'll go to partly cloudy. It's Tuesday and Wednesday that we'll begin to uh, increase clouds again and get a chance of showers on Tuesday night and overspreading the rest of the Bay Area on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We'll go back to partly cloudy skies, and numbers will be plunging this week all the way back down into the upper 50s. That's weather. Saturday looks good. Let's enjoy it while we can. And it's not a job for the squeamish. No, 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 no. Dun, 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 dun. Why these fishermen are messing around in the mouth of a shark. Well, talk about angry birds. People are getting goosed left and right out of park in Sacramento. Yes, I said goosed. It seems these geese get their feathers riled up when people try to get, try to take their picture. Well, this guy knows they can't hurt him, but he gets startled nonetheless, you can see there. Bird experts say the geese are just defending their territory, so don't mess with them. Okay, geese are one thing, but how about hungry sharks? Here's something you probably didn't know. Their teeth aren't the only scary things in their mouths. They also carry around a lot of bacteria that science doesn't really know much about. So if you're bitten and the wound becomes infected, it can be very hard to treat. Researchers are now collecting samples from live sharks to develop new antibiotics. And as you can see, it's not a job for the faint of heart. There were more than 50 shark attacks in the U.S. last year, including six off the California coast. And then they put them back in the water. How am I going to top that? Talk about a raven. Yeah, all right. Straight ahead, yeah, Ravens Joe Flacco. He's an elite quarterback. Well, his wallet says. And a classic Kizar Pavilion. Oh. ha To settle the king of San Francisco high school basketball. KPIX 5's high-def Doppler. So powerful. So accurate. It's the only broadcast radar in America the National Weather Service relies on. Live high-def Doppler, only on KPIX 5. Every day, cleans your jeans and won't torture your tanks. Woolite washed clothes look like new longer. <coughs> when you have a cough, you can't perform at your best. Okay, coughers, are you ready to kick up a storm? Give me a C for cough. So when mucus causes your cough, you need Maximum Strength Mucinex DM. With two Maximum Strength medicines, it breaks up mucus and quiets coughing. Session's over! Kick out the cause, quiet the cough, and kick up a storm. Maximum Strength Mucinex DM. Mucinex in, mucus out. Every neighborhood has a certain style. So does every neighborhood's sight for sore eyes. Individually owned and operated, so you get the special service and selection you want, plus the great prices you expect from a large chain. Find the right styles right next door at your neighborhood sight for sore eyes. Come in now to check out the incredible selection. Get 100 off a complete pair of eyeglasses, plus second pair free, and $99 progressive no line multifocals sight for sore eyes the eye care store next door basketball up top my gosh four periods of regulation not enough to decide the boss of san francisco high school basketball white clad lincoln the favorites coming in versus mission double overtime mission down to an antoine porter the circus shot tied at 67 man who shot that man that was beautiful we're going three overtimes Ronald Murillo, money. Who shot that? Wow. Mission wins at 78-71. They are the city champions. 
All right, no 54-point night for Steph Curry against the Celtics. Warriors down nine. Curry, beautiful move here. 25 points for the night, including that three. The W's creeping in this. Look at Harrison Barnes, finish the break strong. Game tied. Doc Rivers going, hey, man. You almost never see this. Curry, a complete mess. Boston took over, and here comes Jordan Crawford Dak. Celtics win at 94-86. Warriors now 1-3 and three on the road trip. NCAA came down hard on the St. Mary's Gales. They placed the program on a four-year probation stemming from improper recruiting tactics with prospects from France made by a former assistant coach in 2008-2009. Among some of the restrictions, a reduction of scholarships, a five-game suspension next season for head coach Randy Bennett, and Bennett cannot recruit off campus the entire next season. A somber Bennett responded this afternoon. But I think the penalties are harsh, and uh, so it will have an effect on our program. But I, I feel confident that, uh, that we'll, we'll work through it. Ravens quarterback Joe Flacco going to be paid on Monday. Six years, $120 million to re-up in Baltimore. To the top five Friday night. Hey, there's Tiger Woods. Quick, Serena. Get a Serena, picture. Eh, denied. The tennis, says the official. Rules are rules. Out. Sorry, Serena. Number four, Friday Night Boxing. Willie Nelson says, go to sleep. Michael Medina. Medina. Oh, sleep well, my friend. First round knockout. Number three, Tyreek. Tyreek Evans. Three-quarter shot. Good of it. Go! Spurs do beat the Kings, though, but man. Uh, he's made some of Gotta love that. Good. Number two, Kevin Durant, the Durantula. Durant right around Chandler. Oh, oh, that, oh. That, that's not even fair. Oh, wow. oh. And number one, the Blackhawks continue to roll in overtime. It's Brent Seabrook. Blackhawks, they don't lose. 21 straight games with a point. Tired of calls, levies, and liens from the IRS or hiring others who don't get the job done? Call Wall & Associates. We have the professionals who know how to solve tax problems. If you owe money to the IRS, your tax problems are not going away by themselves. Call Wall & Associates right now to speak with a professional tax relief agent. Call Wall & Associates now at 415-494-8641. Get whatever you want, baby. Mm. Let's just share a 20 piece. 20 McNuggets for only $4.99? Oh, man. She's beautiful, smart, and sensible. Jackpot. Anything else? Oh. McDonald's crispy, juicy chicken McNuggets are now part of the extra value menu. So you get the tastes you love at a price you'll love even more. Guess who's going to the game? Thank you. The simple joy of having more to love. Pregnancy has always fascinated me, but especially high-risk pregnancy. We were so excited to have twins, and then to be told that both of their lives were at risk, we were devastated. This is where it all began. This is the birthplace of fetal surgery. Our obstetrician said without hesitation to go to the best place. UCSF, UCSF Medical, Medical Center. Center. Something that no one thought was possible was made possible. Matthew is the daredevil, and William is our comedian. All right, that's going to do it. David Letterman is next. Hey, welcome to the dark side. Well, yeah, thanks. Good to see you. It's usually here in the morning. Don't you got to get up in a few hours? I do. I have to go to sleep. All right, we'll see you. Have a great weekend.